What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm bringing you guys another MLB 13 Road to the Show video featuring my third baseman for the Tennessee Smokies, and today we are playing our rivals, the Chattanooga Lookouts. And here, late in the season, we're getting ready for the playoffs. Our record is actually really good, 39-26, and 26, and you see me batting third today. So we're going to get these three games here underway. As you see, my first at-bat, top of the first with two outs and a 1-1 one -one count. I'm actually showing you a little bit of my patience a little bit. I mean, you see those, you know, I'm not swinging on the first pitch type of things. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be more patient at the plate, and it's going to show a lot in this video. As you see right here, now a 1-2 count. Top of the third with two on, one out. Let's see if we can get a base hit here. And I end up striking out, but I am taking a lot more pitches. I am not swinging as often. I'm only swinging when I feel like I have to really have to, like defending the swing. Like, okay, maybe not necessarily on that pitch because that pitch was necessarily, like, right down the middle. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm being more selective at the plate. I think that's a good thing that I've really been able to do so far. I'm learning to be more selective at the plate. But now on to the gameplay. We're down 8-3 to three in the top of the 8th. And I'm going to get a ground ball to the shortstop. Easy throw for him. And I go 1-4. for four, As this is going to be the end of your ball game, folks. The first game ends up being an L. Final score, 8-3. to three. I finished 1-4, for four, like I said. Not the way I wanted to go about things. But hey, you have games like that. You're going to struggle. But you have to overcome it. So we have to have a short-term memory. And we got to go on to game 2 here. As now we're here in the top of the 1st. With two outs, nobody on, and we're going to get a pop-up behind home plate, and it's going to be an easy can of corn for the catcher, and I'm going to have a nice lonely walk back to the dugout. But we're going to get ready for our first fielding opportunity here in the bottom of the first with an 0-1 count, and here is the pitch, and it's a ground ball to myself. Easy play to first. Nice throw. Perfect fielding opportunity right there, and we're going to go on to the next opportunity right here in the top of the third. Two outs, one on, and let's see if we could get a base hit. I know we've been wanting one, but we actually get one right here, and we're going to advance one base right here. Single, first and second, two outs, but we don't get anything out of it. Same situation here in the top of the fifth, though. Uh, two outs again, two to two this time. We're going to get another base hit down the left field line. And I'm going to try and extend this to two. And the runner from second is going on to third. But he is not going to try and score as the left fielder plays it well. And now we're going to be stuck here second and third with two outs. And we're not going to get anything out of it as they actually end up taking the lead in the bottom of the fifth. One out. And a ground ball here to myself again. And an easy play to first. You know, you know I hate getting on base. And not having my teammates come through for me. That's just like the worst thing in the world. That's like the worst feeling. But anyway, top of the seventh. Two outs. Still three to two. I'm going to try and get a base hit to start a rally. And I get a base hit right there in the center field. As that makes me three for four. And I am just pumped up. Ready to get ready to score. I want to bring myself around. But hey, my teammates picked up the slack. I didn't necessarily score. I tried to steal and I failed. But my teammates are there to pick up my slack. And right there is another poor hit right there. As I ended up grounding out to the first baseman but we ended up winning the game so that's a good thing uh, I finished three for five I really didn't contribute much to the team but you really can't argue for three for five so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna move on with it but now on to this third game here we're on here top of the first we're gonna try and bring these runners around I have a perfect opportunity and it's a double play ball fuck I hate those I hate double plays man especially when you're a batter but when you're a, when you're a fielder it's like it's like your birthday or something. Oh my god, I hate those. But here we are, top of the third. Runner on second, two out. We're going to try and bring that runner around to score. And I strike out. Ah, uh, Double play ball and a strikeout. What? Can it get possibly any worse? I don't know. But here we are, top of the fifth. One on first. And I get a base hit in the left field. We're going to try and turn it around here. Horrible start. Let's try and, you know, turn it around before we get completely screwed over. But here we are, top of the seventh. Can I get another base hit? I get one in the right field, and it is gone. Goodbye, baseball. That is a three-run home run to give us the lead. I have completely turned this around 180 degrees, and I have just made this a whole new different ball game. You know, first two bat at-bats were just, oh, my God, awful. Double play and a strikeout. And then a single. Okay, that's setting the tone. But when a home run happens, you just kind of like, yeah, the struggle's over. And now we're up three to nothing. 
and this could not have gone. And that was the perfect timing for a home run like that. The, just get rid of the struggles that I've been having in this game. But here we are in the bottom of the seventh. It's going to be a bunted ball over to the first baseman, and he overthrows it. Ah, damn. S later on in the inning, bottom of the seventh, one out. We're going to try and turn a double play with the bases loaded. Tough situation here for our pitcher, but I'm going to bail him out of it right here. Five, four, three, that's the inning, and that was a close call. Let me let me tell you that much, but here we are in this pretty much another predicament right here. Full count, two outs. Here's the pitch, and I get a ground ball over to myself, and we got that an, another predicament where, you know, a lot could have gone wrong. But now we're here in the top of the ninth. And now we got a comfortable lead, four to nothing. And I'm gonna get a ground ball here. Shortstop's gonna make a nice throw over to second base, and that's gonna be a, a fielder's choice on my end. So we're gonna end up winning the game, four to two. And I ended up going one for uh, two for five with a home run and three RBIs. So you know I'm pretty happy for that right there. So we're gonna go on to this final game right here, top of the first. Runner on second, one out. I'm gonna try to bring that runner across to score, get us on an early advantage. And I'm going to take this in the right center field, and that is trouble. Look at that well-placed hit, and I'm on my way to second. But wait a minute. I got the speed to go for third, and I'm going to take my chances, and I am safe at third. Look at that beautiful play. Way to start off the game right with a triple, an RBI triple. But now we find ourselves down 3-1, to one, bottom of the second. And now we're going to try and at least stop the bleeding a little bit. And the ground ball, whoop, right through my legs, but able to recover throw to first easy nice recovery right there that was almost trouble but here we are again top of the third one on two outs I'm gonna try and at least get another hit you know start a rally and it's actually off the pitcher and I'm gonna be safe at first all the runners are safe and yeah that, it happens I mean that I'll take it shit <laughs> I mean yeah it, it happens yeah just yeah <laughs> but bottom of the third easy play for myself once again this time it doesn't go through my legs and I don't bobble it or anything like that everything's good but now here we are base hit right field that's double at least and I'm safe at second so we're gonna go on here and we're gonna try and at least get some runs and actually now we're tied top of the seventh and I'm gonna get us Ooh, look at that so many errors, so many botched balls in this game. Now 10 to 5, still top of the 7th. We batted around. And, in, oh, not this time. I'm not so lucky this time. We're going to take it, though. We're up 10 to 5. So everything's all good there. Bottom of the 7th now, one out. We're going to try and at least not let them score or at least make a dent in this lead that we have. So I'm going to get a nice ground ball over to myself. Easy throw to first. Easy play right there. And that is going to be your ball games folks they actually almost made a comeback 10 to 9 was your final score and that was a great game by myself a home run away from the cycle and as you see right here I am going to be the player of the game hey if you're a home run away from the cycle you obviously did something right you know so uh, I would like to say you get to all of you guys who have watched this thank you guys so much for watching if you are a first-time viewer of sim with vengeance and Please subscribe. Also, please go over to some community games and subscribe. Uh, I know I bag on this and nag on it, but I, I really support all those channels. But until next time, you know who I am. My name is Sim with Vengeance, and you see me sliding in there with that triple. And I am the mayor of Jam City, and I am out of here.